Hey YouTube, welcome to this After Effects tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to make a force pull effect. And it might look like pretty complicated. I don't know if it does look complicated, but it's really easy if you think about like how it's how it could be done. So I'm going to show you how it's going to be done. So click on your footage and drag it into the new comp button and you should pretty much just film yourself um, like just put down an object that has a string attached to it and then just drag it across the screen and once it's dragged there you can just put your hand right next to it and act like you're using the force to bring it to you and then like after a while you can just uh, you can grab it and then pull it off the screen. So go to the point in the timeline where the object is already dragged to the, to the spot and your hand is like pretending to pull it towards you. And then um, make sure that the layer is selected and go to edit, split layer. And now it split the layer in half. So the top layer should be your hand, so click on the top layer and name it hand. And name the, like in this case, I'm going to name the bottom layer soda because, well, I'm, th that's the footage of the soda. So just name it soda. And then we're going to just trim our layers so that like just in case there is any footage of stuff that you don't want because I had I recorded myself putting the soda on the table so I I cut that out okay so the rest of this looks good we can now uh, take the hand layer and drag it right above the soda layer and then make sure that the hand layer is still selected and go to the rectangle tool and cut out your hand. Okay, and then cl click on the hand layer again. Hit F, and then now you're going to hold down shift and hit M. So now it should bring up the mask path and the mask feather. So you can bring the feather up to uh, maybe three or four and since that's still not really enough, um, cause like what we're doing now with the feather is trying to cut out that line right here. And I think we have that line basically because um, these are two different shots and the lighting sort of changed a little bit like from the time I made this shot to the time I made that. So that's why there's a line there. You don't wanna raise the feather too much because um, then let's uh, look if you raise it too much then it'll start to reveal the soda and it might also start to cut off your fingers so we're probably going to keep it around five <coughs> and you're going to uh oh yeah i forgot about this part find the mask path and uh click on the stopwatch to make a keyframe and you're going to just slowly go through the timeline until you get to this spot and this is the part where uh, I'm grabbing the soda so we can go a few frames before that where I was still right here then you can click on this little diamond go down and then go down a few frames back to where you grab the soda and then you can just pull this out And since now, now that we've like cut the layer in half and then dragged like, <coughs> sorry, um, and we dragged one of them on top of the other, there's extra space. So you can drag this little work area bar so that it lines up. And you can go to composition, trim comp to work area. And it fixed it for us. All right. So I think we're pretty much done. Let's just preview it. Play it back. 
and it's rendering right now so this isn't the normal speed Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Um I'm not really going to spend extra time making this look perfect because this is just a tutorial, so it doesn't really matter. But you can sort of just keep playing around with it until it looks more realistic. And yeah. So I hope you uh understood this. If you didn't, you can leave a comment like saying what your problem is and then I'll help you with it and then uh, comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time